hoping for help today is fashion photography student Shannon, who's tired of covering up her issue. Ever since like this happened to me, I think definitely my confidence has gone down. But can Sam help Shannon face her problem and fix her confidence? Hi Shannon. Hi, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. What brings you here today? Um, so I've been having skin problems and um, it's becoming like red and irritated and okay. yeah, I don't know what to do about it now. I feel sorry for Shannon. Her skin, you could tell there was something going on despite wearing quite heavy makeup. I think it's time to have a look. So if you can just use one of the pads to remove your makeup for me, Shannon. Okay. How do you feel taking your makeup off? It's really bright today. Or pink today, I think. This, this area right here, like all of that. Poor Shannon, when I saw her take her makeup off, you could see how uncomfortable it was to expose herself. So Shannon, what I see when I look at your skin, there's obviously marked redness. And then when I look closer at these red areas, there are bumps, papules, as we call them, mm -hmm. and some little pustules and quite a bit of surface scaling. Now, I think you have a condition called rosacea. Shannon has inflammatory papulopustular rosacea, and her case is quite severe. Rosacea affects around 1 in every 10 people. The cause is unknown, but it can be triggered by sunlight, alcohol and stress. I think the most upsetting aspect is that I really can't control anything about it. A permanent cure isn't possible, but we can certainly find ways to manage it to make life much better for you. I think we need to use medication to calm the inflammation, to improve the texture of your skin, and then we're going to use some oral antibiotics to take inflammation down from the inside. This all forms part of the way we're going to get your skin into a better state. Okay, that sounds All right, good. lovely to meet you today. Thank you so much. For such a young girl, her case is incredibly active, and I think it's going to take some work to really get on top of this. But I'm optimistic that we've got choices. Okay.